Well, welcome back. In this video, I want to show you a few tricks with grouping and ungrouping items. And you can see here on my canvas, I've got a couple of different pieces of clip art. This little ship here and the life preserver right here. And if I want to move either one of these items around, I've got to make sure I select everything within the item. I've got a couple of sails here, a mass and, a, and the uh, hull. So I would to move this, I would need to select all those pieces and then drag it. And of course, the danger is you might miss a piece or you may select too much or too little, or you may grab a background item or something like that. So it's often helpful to group things together. And that's exactly what we're going to do with the sailboat right now. I'm going to go ahead and select all the pieces in the boat just by dragging a selection box around them. And then I'm going to go ahead and go to the Modify menu and select Group. You can also do Control-G or right-click to get to that command. And you can see now my boat moves as one item. So that can be useful. Another useful part of grouping things is that once I've got an object grouped together, I can then resize the object and everything will scale. For example, I've got this object group right now, and I can point at the lower right corner, press and hold and drag it out, and you see I can make the boat larger. I could also click on it, and I could make the boat smaller, and I can distort it by stretching it if I wanted to. But if the object was not grouped, and let's go ahead and get that back to a little bit more like normal. There we go. If the object was not grouped, and I'm going to go ahead and right click on it and select ungroup here. And we could also get to that from the modify menu. I can no longer resize the object. If I grab one of the objects, it moves it. So those control points no longer work for me. So I'm going to go back again to modify and click group. And again, that becomes one item, and I can now drag and resize from the corner. Now, when you have an object group like this, you can't, with your normal pointer tool, select the different elements within that object. In order to do that, you'll either have to ungroup it or use the subselection tool. The subselection tool is right here. And if I click on that, I can now hover over different pieces of this grouped object, and you're going to see how they highlight. So I can now click on that sail right there, and just that item is selected. So I can now change its color, let's say. I'm going to go ahead and make it blue there. And maybe we'll make it a little lighter blue. There we go. It's important to remember when you have the pointer tool selected and when you have the subselector tool selected, because this will select an element out of a group. So if I try and drag at this point, you're going to see that it does allow me to drag that element out there. Now that doesn't mean that the object is no longer grouped. It just means that this tool allows me to select an element from within that group. If I select this pointer tool again and drag, you're going to see that everything moves together, including the sail that I moved with the subselection tool. So let's go ahead and put that sail back. I'll go ahead and click that right there. And I'm going to go ahead and drag this back up into position. And I'm going to use my arrow keys just to bump that over a little bit more. And there we go. So now I can go ahead and select my pointer tool again. And I can drag that just like normal. And let's see that with the life preserver item right there. I can drag a box around it. Selects all the different elements. I can then go to modify and select group. And I can now move that wherever I want. I can also resize it, whoops, I can resize it to make it larger or smaller. And finally, I can use the subselector tool to choose pieces that I want to modify out of the whole group. In this case, I'm selecting the colored bands in the life preserver, and I'm changing their color. And we'll do one more there, just like that. But when I choose my pointer tool, they still move as a group. But again, you've got to be sure you don't have your subselector tool selected because then you'll be able to pull a piece or out of, not pull a piece out of the group, but you'll be able to change its position within the group. And I'm just going to go ahead and do Edit Undo to put that back and then select my pointer tool again. 
So that's a little bit about grouping and using the selection or the pointer tool and the subselection tool.